May I say Tung's great leap forward was one of the most shameful moments in human history. It's a tragic reminder of the inherent weaknesses in centrally planned economies. Mao put tens of millions of peasants to work building backyard furnaces to produce steel. He described it as a simple and cheap way for the entire population to participate in the construction of socialism. It turned out to be an absolute disaster. The resources it directed away from the land resulted in the great Chinese famine of 1959 to 61. It was a devastating period in China's history that resulted in widespread starvation, suffering and loss of millions of Chinese lives. Which brings us to Energy Minister Chris Bowen's green leap forward. His great dream of turning Australia into a renewable energy superpower by harnessing the power of millions of solar panels and thousands of wind turbines hooked up by a gigantic new transmission grid. This incredible feat, he says, will be achieved in less than seven years. By 2030, 82% of our electricity is supposed to come from wind, water and solar power if all goes according to plan. It won't, of course, because even if you believe that an entire grid can be run on intermittent renewable energy and still be reliable, which I don't, the cost and logistics of this grand exercise, hatched by bureaucrats and ticked off by the minister, make it impossible. This graph shows the progress of wind, solar and hydropower. 20 years ago, it contributed about 10% to the electricity grid, almost all of that hydroelectricity. Today, after countless tens of billions of dollars have been spent, we've reached 30% and we've only just begun. To stay on track to, to that target, we have to install one solar panel every four seconds and a giant wind turbine every 18 hours. Everything has to go right. Investors must part with billions, Planning permission must be secured in record time. Supply chains must remain unblocked and skilled construction teams must be available when needed. And then they've got to be hooked up to a transmission grid that still doesn't exist. The man who has the job of realising Chris Bowen's impossible low energy targets is Daniel Westerman, the chief executive of the Australian energy market operator. He says the plan Bowen proposes is requires industry to redesign and rebuild the aeroplane while we're flying it. Hardly reassure, reassuring, is it? And we have to keep the lights on and the gas flowing today while assembling the new system of tomorrow as the old system of yesterday gradually gives way. Well, Westerman should quietly talk to the energy minister, take him aside perhaps and tell him he's dreaming. Reducing the proportion of electrons that are pushed around by coal and gas from 70% to 18% by the end of the decade, or by the end of the Albanese government's third term, if you want to put it like that, that simply is not going to happen.